Bitcoin Beach, and there's like a was that a bin with a Bitcoin thing on it? <laughs> like a you put your trash bitcoins in there. There's a sign oh, that says Bitcoin, Bitcoin Beach. Beach. This is I feel like this is 2009 when Satoshi Nakamoto was like Bitcoin, <laughs> and everyone's like, What are you talking about, dude? What, what, what? This is the road to Bitcoin Beach. I don't know. Nice to meet you, I'm John. Uh, Stacy. Nice to meet you. This is Connor, this is my friend. Nice to meet you. Hey. So we came out because um, we've been in Costa Rica. Yeah. And we, we were oh. like, we've got to come here and see what's going on. Well, yeah. Okay. Were you hanging out with the Bitcoiners in Costa Rica? Um, I'm actually building a house there. You're the first people that we see. <laughs> what are they, you know, like, this is so weird. Thanks, it's thanks. sick to meet you, man. Like, right. absolutely sick to meet you guys. Wait, like, make, sure, you forever. make sure to go here because they have got a 75% off. Well, it'd be okay. awkward now because we bumped into you and we don't want to be following you around. So. <laughs> Bitcoin Beach, the first person you meet, Max Kaiser. It's mad. What a legend. And right. for the people that don't exactly know who Max Kaiser is. Twitter now. So did you get... Discount with Bitcoin here. You get discount with Bitcoin, 75% off. See? See? I'm like talking English to someone Spanish, like one of those rude, rude English people. But you say Bitcoin, they say, see? But I can't use any Bitcoin. Brody, where's your Bitcoin? I need a wallet too, bro. One of those things. You got a Chivo wallet, no? No. Oh. You see the name of this Point Break Cafe? Point Break is the best movie ever made. And it's basically how I wanted to live my life from when we were 14. We were the same, weren't we? Yeah. In Hawaii. Yeah. Surfing, skydiving, and robbing banks. Ah! Apart from you can't rob banks. Although I did have an idea to create one of those experiences where you rob a bank and then you have to get into a car and then you have to get away from the cops. You know, like a... Like a Oh, like, a, like, a, like one of those escape rooms. Escape, yeah, like escape yeah, yeah, yeah. room. Rob a bank. Yeah, rob a, you have to rob a bank, you have time limit, go in the safe and all that, and then as you get out, you've got a getaway driver, and then you've got to get away from the cops uh, uh, and through the finish line. Escape to dinner. Escape, yeah. It's it's kind of funny. We've literally been here for like five minutes, and then we go to Point Break Cafe. It feels like a sign, doesn't it? Yeah. Even though Bitcoin shit itself today, which we're going to do a video on later. It's our first day here, but the waves are great. There's a lot of people out there. But it looks like a nice learner wave, but also a fun wave. Basically, we bumped into Max Kaiser and Stacey out there, and I, I was just quite like talking to them, whatever. And then, but the weird thing was this morning before we left, I, I messaged them on Twitter saying, "Do you want to do a podcast?" And then, and then I've just got on my uh, Twitter because I put a picture up saying, "Oh, we first people to bump into," um, and then he's retweeted it. Pretty sick. So I, I don't know if Max is like flirting with me and like pretending that he might do the podcast and not do the podcast, but. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's fucking with my my, uh, my emotions right now. No, I was kidding. <laughs> um, but no, it was amazing to meet him. Maybe I have to like chat Stacy up a little bit to get to him. You know, classic. But yeah, I don't know. But that was cool. He's uh, retweeted it. But yeah, we're in Puro Hotel right now. We're just talking to everyone that we see. Find out what they're doing it. Because like, are they here for Bitcoin? Are they here for surfing? Brody was in Costa Rica 20 years ago. We just met another guy who was there 20 years ago. And he was saying, this place, the waves are so good here. Like, they were saying it's just like Costa Rica 20 years ago. As far as opportunity is concerned, we're looking to buy some land, build a house here, and then Airbnb it, and just make, make a bunch of money and have a place to stay when you're here. This is like the perfect place. So, fingers crossed, we find some land. We're gonna go and see a, a little house. No idea what it's gonna look like, but yeah. just to check out what's going on. Ready? <laughs> 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 
That was a good start. And there's a house back there we're looking at. This is a walk to the beach. If you want a house by the beach where you can surf, it's pretty cool, right? I think it's the time you sent your little magic drone up, isn't it? It is, mate. Ready? Everything's so, it's just, you could probably offer like 20k and they'll be like, yeah, cash. <laughs> Sign this. When I was in Costa Rica the very first time and I met that guy Miguel, firefighter from New York City. Yeah. Bought his first house in Costa Rica for 16.5. And it was on Rico's Famosa Street, rich and famous street. No way. Yeah. Thinking, mate. I mean, when you go to Costa Rica and you look at a plot of land, you're like, okay, kind of get it. Like, I trust my best mate, he owns a construction company. But here, it's like beyond Wild West. No water, you know, you, I mean, you can end up like this for the next 10 years, you just don't know. It's like beyond early. If you're gonna like spend tons of time here, buy something for like 80 grand and then like whatever, but it's too early. It's too also, early. by the time, I think honestly, by the time they actually do anything here, other countries are gonna accept Bitcoin and it'll be tax free. And, then, and they'll already be ahead of the curve because and they've already got a lot more infrastructure and everything going in and not already anyway. Exactly, we're more developed. It'll take a long time. Yeah. Long Maybe, time. If you bought a place for like $100,000 and it's like half decent and then you can Airbnb it and you make money forever, then fine. But because you always get tourists here, but Costa Rica is the place. Costa Rica is the place on that one. Yeah. So we just come into a surf shop in oh, Surf City and um we made the surfboards behind here, so we're going to have a quick look. We want to open a surf shop in Costa Rica, right? Because we're going to make this in Costa Rica. This is just learning right here. Dude, we can literally make this in Costa Rica. The smell of this is so nice. When we lived in Hawaii, we always used to dream about this type of thing. And uh, maybe this is the reason we can. That's a day at Bitcoin Beach. That was fun. It was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think investing in property is going to be a thing for me. It's not what we saw today, but it is a beautiful place. El Salvador is amazing. Glad we came on this little uh, reconnaissance mission or research trip, whatever you want to call it. But yeah. Did you enjoy it? Hey, it's been epic. It's been a journey. It's been mad. I think you performing at that gig, like that was pretty nice. It was pretty cool. Free dinner. Um, free dinner. A few cocktails for free for us. Yeah, that's it. That's a day in Bitcoin beach you run into people like you know max and stacy and stuff like that kind of you know the thing i think i learned the most is that it's super early here yeah. like like really early and the more i see stuff like this the more i think bitcoin is still super early so what a great time epic time mate time to go back to sunny london and then on to the next one on to the next one